authoritarian versus libertarian. I see the basis of the current ideological struggle as criminals versus ordinary, mostly law-abiding citizens. The authoritarians would like to frame it as socialism versus capitalism or religion versus the state or white versus black. Anything to avoid an honest discussion of what is really going on. Sometime back, say about when the Libertarian Party was established in the U.S., a small but significant part of the population realized it wasn't inevitable that society would always be ruled by authoritarian criminals. Since that time, things have progressed. Most people now are at least somewhat aware of what the libertarian ideology is all about. And more people than ever are attracted to libertarian ideas. Where we go one, we go all. Personally, I would place myself in the libertarian wing of the libertarian movement. I favor minimizing all crimes, especially those committed by the state. I'm a crime fighter. I don't fight criminals. I avoid criminals. I fight crime by fighting criminal ideas. If I could push a button that would put an end to government by crime, I would push that button in the New York nanosecond. What's not to like about peace and prosperity? Governments want to slow the spread of COVID-19. Maybe they're even more interested in slowing the spread of libertarian ideas. The Canadian government is flirting with the idea of putting refusers in a gulag. That might end up needing to be a very large gulag. The authoritarians of the world are currently engaged in a massive crime spree. They're floating all kinds of different extreme authoritarian delusions as they see a massive resistance forming. Attacks on the family are becoming more and more blatant and families are fighting back. Ironically, the lockdowns and layoffs have forced families to spend more time together, which is strengthening family ties and weakening authoritarian control systems. The authoritarians are cornered and desperate. The authoritarian economy is trembling on the verge of complete collapse while the under-the-table and gig economies are getting more and more robust. If the authoritarian economy suffers a significant setback, the authoritarians won't be able to pay their soldiers. The authoritarians are totally terrified by the thought that they might not be able to pay their soldiers. I think they should realize that life without massive military backing is possible and even enjoyable. Most of us have lived without armed guards for all of our lives. 
we are not protected by military might. The military is more interested in robbing us through taxation than protecting our lives and property. We are protected by the laws of karma. We do the right thing because that protects us and makes us more prosperous. The way to get rich is to get other people to want you to be prosperous. There's a magic way to do that. It's called work. I'm not talking about having a job. I'm talking about actual work. The elites have been breaking the laws of karma for a very long time now. The laws of men mostly don't apply to the elites, but the laws of karma apply to everyone. Or to put it in a more technological perspective, denying the laws of information transfer does not stop the laws of information transfer from applying to you. The truth is going to come out. Freedom works. Slavery sucks.